Welcome to Fit and Free. I'm Angel, you can call me Auntie Angel. And I'm gonna do my quick and easy digestive health mini yoga series. Wanna join me? I like to remind you there's not one way to check in with your body. I happen to be working on a little digestive health series and uh, learning my Sanskrit words for these yoga poses so you might hear me stammering through them if you can even hear me from over there we'll we will see anyway i'm going to be running through some poses you might be familiar with if you've been stopping by regularly and that's the cat cow or marjari asana and bitil asana i'm going to do some uh i already did the mala asana i'm going to do some maybe some adho mukha i already did some of that too maybe some cobra pose i can't remember the Sanskrit name for that. Uh, perhaps some happy baby pose. Is that Balasana? It's got another part to it. Anyway, we'll muddle through them. How about that? Let's start with some breathing. Settling into where my body is making contact with the earth. <sighs> I'm gonna do a few shoulder shrugs to start things off. Breathing in and lifting the shoulders, tensing up. You can even add the toes and fingers. Breathe in a little bit more and then ha. Ah, letting that go. I encourage you to make some noise if you're free to do that. And again, breathing in, tensing up, pulling up. And a little bit more and then ha. Ah, try out a different sound. One more. Breathing in. Tensing up. Breathing in a little bit more. And then ha. Ah, go ahead and just slump. Because that feels good. It feels good. And then I'm gonna come back to sitting. <laughs> that did feel good. I've been sitting a lot today, come to think of it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with a little more of that since that felt good. And let's just do some, I'm going to turn this way so you can better see what I'm doing, which is rounding the spine. Let's hang off those knees a little bit and then pulling forward. That's just a nice kind of fluctuation of the spine. We're warming up and it feels good in my arms as well. Again, rounding the spine, hanging off the knees, and then straightening the spine, pulling forward from the knees. Let's see and how, just exploring that. Let's do it one more time, back rounding. Pushing into those shoulders a little bit, and then forward. Lifting the chest a little bit, squeezing the shoulder blades a little bit. And back to center. Let's roll down and start with some spinal twisting. Long spine on the floor, pressing the low back and the abdominals and keeping these elbows wide behind the back. I'm gonna lift the legs into about a 90 degree angle. And then shifting with knees held together, shifting to the left while I look to the right. Try to keep those arms anchored on the floor. If it helps, you can put those out long. And then engaging the abdomen, bring those legs back to center, going the other way. Pardon me, over to the right, looking to the left. And then lifting back to center. And one more time on each side, over to the left, looking to the right, keeping those arms anchored, keeping that abdomen engaged, lifting back to center, and over to the right with the legs, looking to the left, and back to center. Let's go one more time on each side, over to the left, looking to the right, Keeping those arms anchored and back to center. It helps to push the low back into the floor to anchor with the abdomen there. 
Looking to the left, <laughs> knees to the right, and then back to center. I'm gonna bring the knees towards the chest and just give them a little rock and then a little bit of a circling. Give that low back a little massage. So that's some snapping and crackling and popping in there. That's probably not great. Some circles the other way. Let's do left leg extended, right knee up, and take that knee across. Coming back to center, bringing both knees up, extend that other leg, bringing that one across, keeping that opposite arm as flat as possible on the ground. Oop, I'm rolling off my mat, coming back to center. <laughs> Let's give those knees a hug one more time. And how about a little bit of spine rolling, just using those knees to come up a little bit and get a little rocking on that spine. Give it a little bit of waking up and then coming back to seated. I'm gonna go ahead and flip over into tabletop position. All fours. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, looking for a relatively flat back. Energy out the top of the head and out the tailbone. Feet are relaxed. On the exhale, I'm gonna push into Marjari Asana or cat pose. Spreading wide across the shoulder blades, rounding the spine, tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone. And then on the inhale, into big tail asana or cow pose, lifting in the chest, lifting the eyes, tipping the tailbone, keeping engaged in the abdomen a little bit. And then on the exhale again, cat. I'm gonna do that with the breath a few times. Coming back to tabletop. I'm gonna come from here into what I've been calling bridge pose, but I actually was thinking about it. I think I used to call this camel pose and something else bridge pose, but in any case, whatever it's called, you can see it better in this frame. So reaching back for those heels and you could bring those heels up if you wanted, if that's not too hard on the knees. I find that's a little harder on the knees. so. It's better to reach back. Although that's hard on my shoulders. Meh. <laughs> Push it forward in the hips. You can lean that head back onto the shoulder blades if that's comfortable. Pushing forward. Really breathing into that. That one is a tough one for me. I'm gonna come out of that slowly. And from here, I'm going to come into Balasana, child's pose, just for a few breaths. You can leave the hands under your head or back behind you, whatever's comfortable. And the head can be straight down on the forehead or to one side, whatever's comfortable. It's a very relaxing pose. Just check in with the body for a couple breaths. And from here, I'm gonna come back up onto the knees, the hero's pose for a breath or so. That's sitting either on your feet or between your feet. If, that, if you have trouble with the knees, then on your feet, or you can even put like a, a towel or a block under your butt there. Hmm. 
I did say I was going to do some Adho Mukha, so coming back to all fours, tucking those toes under and lifting the he hips, <laughs> the hips, <clears throat> pushing back into Downward Facing Dog or Adho Mukha, or some all, sometimes called Tent Pose. And pushing down in those heels and pulling back in the hips. And from here, I'm gonna either chaturanga or work my way into cobra pose, dropping those hips, come all the way down and release those toes, lifting with the eyes, letting the belly relax a little bit. I'm gonna go through that sequence again, just cause it felt good, pushing, lifting in the hips and pushing back. And then coming forward and dropping the belly, dropping the hips, lifting the chest. And then I'm gonna come back again into Balasana for a couple breaths. Just let that relax. About my body talking to me a little bit there about some things that need a little more delicacy, so I'll try to listen more to that. Let's just finish off with a little bit of malasana or a deep squat. Uh, that's pushing into the heels. You can try to get those feet a little more parallel maybe and then pushing out. That doesn't work parallel. I'm gonna move more out to duck feet. Pushing with the elbows on the knees. Mm -hmm. I hope you're remembering to listen to your body. And uh, I like to remind you, it doesn't have to take a long time. You don't have to wear any special outfit or do any particular moves in order to give yourself a little bit more love, check in with yourself. And it's about regularly doing it more than it is about, I mean, form and function and reps and all that is important, but it's really about the consistency of showing up regularly, seeing what you need, and then trying to give yourself a little of that. So I like to aim for you know, a little bit better, 1% better. If, if you compound that over time, it adds up to a lot. And the alternative is to keep sliding backwards to a little bit worse, and that also can add up to a lot. So that's my unsolicited advice for today. I'm tired, I'm gonna hit the hay. That rhymes, so you know it's true. I thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being you. Uh, always uh, check out the description. I forgot to say, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what you like more of, what you're into these days. And uh, where, where are you hailing from? I'd love to know that if you want to tell me. As always, above all else, stay curious, stay courageous, stay fit, and stay free. Ciao for now.